Cruz News Time. Well, the state of Florida, tired of waiting around, uh, they've already filed a lawsuit against the CDC. And yesterday, uh, they went to court to ask a judge uh, to allow cruising to resume right away. L let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lida Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news updates. And boy, this is a big one. On the heels of the story about the Cruise Act getting nowhere in the Senate, we see some aggressive action out of the state of Florida. Back on April the 8th, the governor announced that he had directed the attorney general to file suit against the CDC and the administration against Health and Human Services. And on the heels of that lawsuit, the state of Florida also turning it up a notch yesterday, going to the federal court in Tampa, asking a judge for an immediate injunction injunction uh, against the cruise ban. And before we go all Perry Mason on this, let me take a quick moment to invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Thanks in advance. Order in the court. Here we go. I first saw this story on the website Law360 where they chronicle exactly what's going on. Let me give you a couple interesting pieces of information to track along with. First of all, the, the case is called Florida versus Becerra. Becerra is the head of Health and Human Services. The case number 821-CV-839 and it's in the U.S. District Court for the Middle District of Florida. I haven't been able to find when this case will hit the docket, but from my understanding is uh, these kind of injunctions, they get attention fairly quickly. I did go over to the website for the United States District Court of the Middle District of Florida. They've got like eight judges that have a calendar for the next four weeks. So, it, and, and not all the slots are full. So it does seem like this uh, call for injunction could get looked at fairly quickly. Uh, I signed up for the search the case thing. It's going to take a little while before I can actually search, but I'm going to keep looking to see when this case will hit the calendar. The injunction comes in the form of a 27-page motion with a lot of evidentiary documents attached to it. It's a lot of data. Uh, Law360 does a good job of pulling out some of the highlights. Uh, first, for the merits, the reason that Florida is suing, here's the key line, without this court intervention, Florida will lose millions, if not billions of dollars. And if companies like Carnival follow through on their threat to move operations abroad, the state of Florida may never be the same. Uh, that's one of the big arguments why this injunction is being requested. Uh, also in the documentation, it talks about 159,000 Floridians whose livelihoods depend on the cruise industry. The motion also includes data about real financial impacts in the state of Florida in 2020, uh, outlining that $20 million had been paid out in unemployment benefits to workers in the state of Florida uh, that would normally get their wage from the cruise business. The argument's going to take shape on a few fronts. Uh, it's arguing that the CDC is overstepping their boundaries, uh, that it's exceeding its authority, that the requirements that it's giving to the cruise industry, not something that's workable, not something that takes into consideration the current state of being in cruising. It most certainly will be interesting to see the outcome of this request from the state of Florida. Again, I think this will be acted on fairly quickly. It sets up a scenario where a federal judge could potentially override the oversight of the CDC to allow cruising to resume in Florida. And of course, if it does set this precedent, I could see other states that have cruise interests, Texas, California, uh, states like that that have a huge cruise interest uh, filing something very similar or pointing to it and saying that we should be allowed to open. What do you think all you armchair barristers out there? Uh, will this case hold water? Will we see a federal judge overturn the will of the CDC? Uh, let's talk about that in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the show today. Please show your support by hitting the like button. This is Tony with La Lido Loca and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.